Okay, it's 6.30, so I'd like to call the March 26, 2014 meeting of the Redevelopment Commission to order. If everyone would rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Uh, Vianna apparently is ill this evening, so Adam is going to fill in on her place. Would you mind taking roll, please? Right. Shannon Clode? Here. Rick Fayette? Here. Adam Hunsell? Here. Daryl Foley? Here. Vianna McKenzie? Who is absent? David White? Present. Right. Um, Vianna had sent out a copy of the February minutes. And I also sent one out with the agenda. Has everybody had a chance to look those over and review? Anything that needed clarified, added, or do they look good? Okay, well then I guess we need a motion to approve the February minutes as presented. So moved. And a second, please. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. So we will let Vietta know that those have been approved and just so that she can get that signed and submit it to Bridget's office for official uh, filing. Okay. All right, we're moving right on down to the Veterans Way project. Uh, first thing was any changes on the project budget line items that that was the thing with the engineering cost and all right. that I know. No, there's no changes to it, but uh, you had asked me to look at some of the contracts mm -hmm. um, and add those line items. Right. We contracted with Craig a year ago. Okay. And Bridget was trying to pull me the numbers of what we had given them. So the actual. And she hadn't pulled enough. Yeah, she okay. hadn't found enough, so I need to do a little bit more work. And, and I don't know where to put that, whether that's on right away services or acquisition, because we had both. And it's really, yeah. you know, which one I put it under. Because if I put it under uh, right away services, then we'll be over budget on that one line item, but we'll be significantly right. under on the right away acquisition part. So, I, since, I mean, they're both about the same, I mean, they're the same item, it's just written in two different. It's just how right. you know, Fleece of Vapor break broke it out right. and made the decision. So I'm just trying to keep those same. I would say to put elements. it under the line item that we still have funds available okay. because I don't want to go over per se in one. So if you can make those adjustments when you get that and then email that out to us uh, and if it happens to run close to next month's meeting, just. Uh, I should be able to probably that tomorrow. Okay. I, I just had too many interruptions today. I <laughs> got it was a busy day for you. Uh, All right. Uh, then let's go to right away acquisition update. Um, we had some discussions in the executive meeting regarding parcel A. Uh, anything here that anyone would like to bring up, or are we in a position where we could go ahead and make our motions and move forward? Make a motion. Motion to allow the city attorney to uh, attend to the offer discussed in the executive uh, session for parcel number eight. Is there a second to that? Second. Any discussion? Right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Then, Chris, uh, with that, go ahead and move forward uh, with uh, making contact there. Gary, what about any, I mean, I know that I've had this on here. Is there anything right. changed on the replatting? There's no update. Uh, last month you had let me uh, work with Fabry Baker Daniels. Mm -hmm. um, I've been working on reviewing the plans and we've got more uh, on the water, sewer, and other things that uh, I've been reviewing. Um, I'm just going to do set of plans today. Okay. Uh, that are about 
percent, seventy-five percent done. Um, so those will be in my office available for inspection. I do have those electronically. The set is too big to send by email. So, Mr. Fayette, if you would like to walk in with the thumb drive, I will copy them for you. Thank you, Mr. Burke. You're welcome. Thanks. Um, and so, I, I hope to be meeting. side of Indian. It's easier for me to hit them yeah. in the morning or on the way home uh, to, to talk with them about how Happy we go that. about that process. Okay. All right. So it's still there and until it's a done deal, I'll uh, just ask fine. every month. That's Sorry, fine. but. <laughs> um, structure point wasn't doing our right of way easement documentation, which is down two items. Uh, that's who we contracted with Cripe for. Okay. But we did have a meeting with between Craig, myself, and Structure Point. Went over all the right of way. They need to make sure that grading would stay within the right of way and those things. Um, where we had temporary right of way on the donation parcels, they didn't care. They knew that it was just going to be some grading and okay. it would be restored. It wouldn't be a permanent taking. Uh, so both banks and Mr. Whitaker have, have said that they are still in agreement. I now have all the legal descriptions and the exhibits uh, from Cripe that we need. I'm just working on the actual property transfer document that doesn't get attached to. So, so we're hoping to have that done within the next within week. Within the next week, yes. Wonderful. Hopefully signed. And then you're so, fine with the temporary. Yes. All right. Well, that sounds great. Um, I have tonight Patrick Wooden from Structure Point. Now that they're 75% done, they have uh, revised their construction cost estimates. And I know they want to discuss that with you. It's uh, some pretty good news, I think, good. Uh, that you'll find. And then uh, I guess you can talk about your other meetings. So he's got some All right, that sounds great. <laughs>
hours to do overhead electric lines along the current county road, the county yes, road. and we are going to be able to leave those in place. We're working with Duke to make sure that any uh, construction that happens within their easements that will be within their regulations, they're, they're perfect for that. So um, nothing too major as far as the utilities go. We have completed a geotechnical investigation over the last month, and we have that complete now. We have used that to submit a payment design recommendation to Gary. That's currently under review. We anticipate that it will be a 10 inch asphalt pavement uh, with the project, which meets the NDOT guidelines for uh, the forecasted truck volumes that we expect on the roadway and uh, meets all the NDOT guidelines. So. Okay. General update on the environmental status. Uh, we have done some preliminary investigation. It can't be official uh, environmental investigations yet because of the weather and nobody's going to take the results of it when we do an investigation in January. But we have a pretty good sense that we do have wetlands within the project limits within the vicinity of the corridor and so we are going to have to do some permits for that. So in, in order to do an official delineation, we are waiting for the warm weather to come around and then we'll be doing the official delineation. And then do you know who will be doing that delineation for you? What stuff that you'll be utilizing or is that something that American Construction Fund will be doing that the delineation. Yeah, we're, we're qualified for that through that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Our anticipation is under a tenth of an acre and so, so it would not need to be an acre. Because we are not able to get out in the field and do that official delineation until probably April right. for our time frame and the permitting will follow after that, we are expecting to get the permits complete by July, but that may trail getting the final documents ready to go. We will be able to move forward with the bidding process to find a contractor, but the permits may be pending uh, when it's actually out for bid. We do anticipate. We just get an award until we had the, the permits in hand. We likely could not be doing any work. So. So you can area. simultaneously be obtaining permits as we're doing the bidding. Yeah, and it might be possible to, to phase the construction to work on things outside of those limits while you're waiting on a permit for certain other areas. So as far as permits, who all are we going to need permits from? Do you know? I mean, the, 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 the water quality permits, 401 from 401 IM, through IM. 404 with Army Corps, okay. they're kind of have joint jurisdiction as it is over okay. wetland areas, and then we'll also have a Rule 5 uh, permit for erosion. So right. Those are the permits that we're expecting. So, okay. Project. All right. So, really. And, and Rule 5 is just that there's always water treatment plan locally, and then they'll submit it as paperwork. To IDEM. Okay, because that was what I was wondering if we had to have an IDEM permit per se, but Jeff will take care because, okay. It's just a notice of the time of.
coordination meeting next uh, first week of April, and we will be attending that for further coordination prior to that April 15th deadline. We're looking to have final design plans, contract document, and final estimate uh, to Gary by the first of May for review, and then we'll make any changes based off of his review, and then we'll have uh, basically our, our final tracing set uh, signed, stamped, and, and delivered, and ready for bid by the first of June. So we can turn in turn at our May meeting within a, more than likely approve to approved. go to bid. Okay, because that works. For so then we're expecting the bidding process would occur during the month of June, and then if a contractor is awarded, uh, we would expect construction to occur kind of in the second half of 2014. Um, this might be a question for Gary and the mayor. Well. This commission will be the one that will actually advertise for the bid, or is that the Board of Public Works? Who, who will, who we will, and then we will open the bids here and read them aloud. Okay, I just didn't know. For sure. All right. Sorry. You're fine. If you go to the second page, um, we have completed a uh, preliminary cost estimate. I'm calling it preliminary just because you know, it's entirely possible things will change as we move on to our final plans. Um, but as Gary said, we're, we're good 70-75% complete on the plan, so we think we have a, a pretty detailed, uh, fairly accurate cost estimate now. Um, the original budget, as we are aware of it, was 7.724840 for construction. That includes both the roadway, the water, and the sewer work, including the lift station. Our current construction cost estimate, which does still include a, a pretty healthy 20% contingency, is $6.39 million, which is $1.33 million less than the original estimated budget. Uh, there's some additional savings from the preliminary engineering uh, contracts uh, that were executed for that. Uh, if you combine the preliminary engineering, the design, and the construction cost together, um, there's a total savings realized on the project of uh, just over $1.6 million to date. Um, I, I do want to note that that doesn't include the right of engineering that we're right. doing. It doesn't include any uh, construction inspection services or any waterline extension work. But uh, that waterline extension is one that they paid for. We added it to this project um, with the approval of the water board because they're paying for it. But they're not, they're not paying for it. It was approved to be a county tip project. And I was doing the design on that. But then when we started getting into the corner of Carver and 150, where we're kind of doing that modified cul-de-sac and we really don't have a lot of room left and we're trying to leave a, a multi-use trail through there, we thought it'd be better just to get that water line included in this. And they're keeping separate pay item tasks. So that will be bid separately. Okay, so it'll be a, it won't even be included in the bid or will it'll be, it'll be, an, be an, bid, an alternative. It'll be an alternative, alternative. That, that's added so we to, can get and then we a can special cost and we can submit those directly to the water board right. and they they submit them to the uh, New York. So we'll do them simultaneously and then okay, we'll it's not the water board, it's the county tip that's going to be paying for that version, <laughs> right? They've already deposited the money with yeah. the Bank of New York based on estimates that were done. So the county tip board has already approved all of that. Uh, and the bank and money's on deposit. So we actually, I just give them to our water department and they send them to the Bank of New York for payment. Okay. Thank you. The water may extension where they connect to this one is in their estimate. So we were going to take it from behind uh, Lee's Inn over across 150 and down Moscow Road to tie into Westridge. This project, your project, will connect right there at Moscow and 150 and take it on around 421. And we would expect that both projects would benefit, that both agencies would benefit from uh, an expansion of the amount of water line that needs to be done. There should be a little bit of a lower unit price. Well, it's nice to see that there's a potential $1.6 million 
dollar savings. It's not until we bid, but you know, going in with the estimates and that with a 20% contingency, that's pretty comfortable. So that's that's good. Same guess. Any other questions? Construction inspection. New York City is Gary City Forces. Yes, sir. So Gary would be doing the inspection. Right. So the TIF board. So we're going to save around eight hundred thousand dollars by having the city engineer do the inspection on this. And that's contractual. Will be specified somewhere. No. no. It's been Added offered. to his job description. <laughs> it's been offered. The services have been offered. Well, that's the savings from someone else doing that work. So, I mean, I thought Lincoln Street, there was an engineering firm involved in doing that work, and then yeah. your services was a, like a credit. So, I'm just wondering how this is going to work, where they come up with It's not required to hire a firm to do that. Now phase two, because you're using, you're federal. anticipating using federal funds, you will have to pay a consulting firm to do the inspection. Now whether or not I can, like Lincoln Street, be one of an extension of their staff to okay. save some, that could be looked at. Right. So, okay. so at this point, you're simply going to do the inspection because we're not, we're using all local funds for right. phase one. Next time, we have to hire somebody and then there's an agreement made with them to credit our account for the support you do. If they agree. If they agree. Are you certified okay. through NDOT on the inspection? For, I mean, because that's one of the things that NDOT requires on their, for phase two, to be certified to do the inspection. I think you have to be approved through them. Have you ever submitted your statement of qualifications? Uh, well, they did have uh, six areas way back when. Yeah. that you needed to uh, be certified in to do inspections. I passed all those certifications, but if you are a PE, you are not required okay. to have those. Okay. So at least that's what it was. So I mean, looking down the road, phase two, maybe be a part time. And it, it you, could be. Right. Depending upon like when they're varying things, we'd have full time inspection there, but then on the day to day. No, you have to have full time inspection. Every, well, I was talking for the higher, if we ha have a higher person other than you right. on phase two, they can maybe be there for that and you the bus. So, I don't know. It's later down the road, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Don't need to muddy the waters right now. Okay. Does anybody have any questions or anything else? Well, I really appreciate you being here to give us an update and... Uh, uh, do we, and I, I guess I do have one more. Do we anticipate having, uh, once these plans are done, are we going to maybe have another meeting with the public uh, to present the? If, if you want to, you can have a couple sites out for them to look at. Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, it's not changed substantially in a lot of From what we had. From what we did before. Right. Maybe we could send a notification or something out to those property owners that the plans and specifications are here if anyone would like to come in and review. Um, I just think that that would be it's an excellent idea. a good thing. At least let them know that they're done because, you know, they're not coming to all of the meetings and maybe if the papers don't put it in on the radio, um, I just like them to know that we're encouraging them if they want to come in and look, they can. Yeah. So... Once That's we get to that, because we've got a list of all the property owners that we sent out notification to the meeting, so we can just send out another. I, I could send out another letter, but I, I just don't, right now I have time to babysit and answer questions. I understand that. Right. I understand yeah. that. Well, let's talk a little bit more about maybe coordinating something and what you can do and the timing and all of that, because I understand it don't have if it takes, if you want to do a, a night meeting, that would be great. But well, that's kind of what I was thinking. There's some other tasks that you have asked me to complete that I need to. That you definitely need to be I on need now. Need to be on those but we're not looking at having these plans done until May, so let's come. Yeah, but if the, you know, if they want to look at something, you know, as it might be right next to their property, I don't know if we have a lighting plan. You know, is there any way that you guys have the uh, 
space on a website that you could put these preliminary plans on and then with a code they could access that and then maybe somebody on your staff could answer email questions or we, we could definitely post any documents that you want on our FTP site mm -hmm. which um, with the password access anybody could get to and then that would solve the problem of having files too much to email um, yeah they would be available for anybody to download at that point um, and if they are there uh, that's how I got okay. them electronically because I went to their FTP site and downloaded them okay. well let's uh we don't have to make a decision on that so we'll talk a little bit more on what would be the best way to expedite that because i would like to have the information available for some of those people to yeah, look at you, you want them to look at them so we can get comments before they before they're finalize. finalized that's kind of what i'm thinking too and so they need to be doing that in the month of april versus in may yeah, right. and i know you're overloaded right now so maybe we can figure out how we can coordinate with structure point on Anything else? I guess I keep saying that, but there you go. I need to look at this real quick uh, because mine's a little different over here. <laughs> okay, so we've gone through the design summary. We've already talked about discussed the right of way easement documentation, the scheduling of a public meeting or presentation. That's what I was getting at. Maybe we can do that via the website. That yeah. um, discuss potential marketing efforts. Um, one of the things that I would like to bring up with the board and maybe get some approval is, um, you know, during the interview process, one of the reasons that we had selected Structure Point is that they had a lot of um, experience with commercial developments and also had great connections and what have you. Um, with that, that was kind of the intent is that maybe they can help us with the long-term marketing and development of the area. But I also feel like we've got some resources here locally that could help us with that, um, you know, through our local EDC and perhaps even the state EDC and maybe getting the site shovel ready. I don't know. I just feel like we need to maybe, um, I guess what I'm asking is for the board to give me some official okay to make contact with the EDC to uh, arrange some sort of a meeting with the. I I move that we give the board president official um, authorization to discuss potential marketing efforts with the EDC and anyone else she so chooses. Also. All right, there's been a motion. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, well then I will do that and then once we get some kind of a plan of attack or meeting set, let you all know, but I didn't wanna not do anything to help the area develop. That's why we're putting this infrastructure for. Okay, the next thing that we have is the approval of invoices. We had four this month. Those were already sent out for everyone's review. Any discussion, questions regarding those invoices? If not, can we get a motion to approve those uh, invoices? So moved. And a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Um, then we've got our next meeting is scheduled for April 23rd um, and keep in mind that there is the actually it's the fourth Wednesday of the month and not necessarily the last because there are five Wednesdays in April I believe so it's the 23rd and not the last week of April all right um, I need a motion anything anyone it's always been the last. That I just so there's, I it doesn't matter to me. Just so there's no confusion. Well, I didn't know for sure, and I, I said, is it the fourth or is it the last? And we'll I learned the hard way. I've actually showed up on the fourth Wednesday when there were five. Well, it came back to me that it is the fourth Wednesday of the month, which the typically is the last. Should we make a motion that that's what it's going to be from now on? Probably a good idea. Sure. 
imagine it would be. Did you do that? Yeah, we moved it to the, the regular TIF board meeting. This is fourth Wednesday of the month. You are certainly within your rights to do that. I mean, technically, statutorily, you only have to meet once a year. So, yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. So if we meet, it'll be on the fourth Wednesday. Wednesday. Is that a motion that yeah, you're I'll making? Yeah, make a motion in that way. Yes, clear I think so. I'll second that. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. So that's on the 23rd. Yes, so the 4th. All right. Janet, can you confirm that Bridget, that that means what she said to the press at the beginning of the year? I can, but I think I already may have done that because the question came from, um, administrative assistant I said I don't know please check with the mayor's office and Bridget's and she came back with me saying that it was the fourth so I will double check that and if there's some issue okay if there's some issue with that all right I will check with Bridget just to make sure that and if it's something we need yeah I don't know okay, okay. okay. I think then that's it. If anything, if anybody else has anything, otherwise we need a motion to adjourn. So moved. And a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Aye. Meeting adjourned.